G'day guys, welcome back to Southern Star Review. I'm Shane and I'm away camping this weekend with the family. So while I've got a bit of time to kill, I thought I would pop out and do a bit of a review on my Steady Spotlights and also show you a comparison of the um, optional flood covers that you can get for these guys. So uh, there seems to be two schools of thought when it comes to driving lights. You get people who just want to see as far as they can down the road, um, you know, a kilometre down the road or more. Um, and then you sort of get the other school which I'm in, which is um, I don't really want to see too far down the road Like I just need to see enough uh, And I really want to see what's happening out the side So, you know, I want to be able to spot any skippies that are about to run on the road or anything else That's going to step onto the road like a cow or a horse or whatever and uh, cause me some major dramas So um, for me, it's more important to have spread than it is to have reach but uh, Yeah, not everyone prefers it that way. So I thought this would be a good chance to have a look at these steady lights as they are stock standard uh, and then obviously put the flood covers on there and see what sort of a difference it makes. Um, for me personally I think uh, from the trips I've done so far it, it, it's the best of both worlds you know you might have occasions where you take the flood covers off uh, just to get a bit more reach if you're looking for water coming across the road um, but most of the time I find I've got the flood covers on because I really, as I said, I want that spread out the sides uh, to highlight any animals that are uh, about to come at me. So what we're going to do is uh, I'll just uh, come out here after dark obviously, um, drive, drive part of the track around here with the flood covers off, then we'll put the flood covers back on, drive the same piece of track and uh, see what the difference is and you guys can be the judge of whether you think they're any good or not. They're obviously a well built quality spotlight, there's no question about that. So it's more of whether you know that particular light suits your you know preferences. Um, but first things first, what we'll do is I'll bring you in and we'll have a bit of a closer look at them and uh, I'll show you the, the flood covers themselves. And then we'll fast forward a few hours and uh, come back here later on. Right, oh, no, let's get into it. All right guys, so let's just have a bit of a look at the actual uh, flood covers themselves before we get started. So, obviously they double as a protector as well. So the lights come standard with a blackened uh, protective cover, which I find a little bit useless to be honest, because I don't have to get out, stop, get out, you know, take the cover off uh, when I need my lights. I really just want to be able to hit them when I need them. So um, I think it'd be much better if they shipped them with clear covers, but anyway. Um, you can buy a clear cover as an option as well, um, but yeah, I opted for the for the flood covers. So to take them off, you just grab the two little tabs down the bottom, pop straight off like that. As you can see, it's quite a good quality polycarbonate style flood cover. Easy to clean, you know, pretty straightforward. You've got three main clips on there that hold it in place, and you can see obviously the flood rippling across there. And you really do get a lot of spread out of these covers. It's it's quite good. Anyway, to put them on, it's pretty straightforward. Just get the two side clips in first. And then just push down on the top clip. Pop it in. And there you go. All done. So very simple to change over on the fly. All right, guys. Let's fast forward a few hours. And uh, we'll come back here and I'll show you what they look like.
guys. So that's the steady Type X Pro driving lights, with and without the flood covers. So yeah, I really think they're the best of both worlds. To be honest, if you if you want the extra reach, you can just leave the covers off. They do sell a clear cover for these as well, um, so you can still have the protection and still get the um, the distance in the light. Um, these retail for around about twenty dollars per light. So for a set of flood covers, you're looking at about forty bucks. And uh, I really think they're a they're an awesome light um, and very well priced when compared to other products that are on the market. So yeah. Um, let us know what you think of the video, which one you preferred, you know, did you like the reach or did you like the flood covers um, or are you happy to have a bit of bit of both? Um, if you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe so we can catch you on the next video and uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you soon.